Greetings and salutations. My name is Michael Schwann and welcome to the channel. We have some more reaction content for you and today we are taking a look at The Darkest Tales. And if this little title screen doesn't catch your attention at least a little bit, I, I'm sorry, I can't help you because there is a adorable little teddy bear that is holding two halves of a pair of scissors and those two halves of the pair of scissors are imbued with magical arcane energy that have turned them into a couple of bastard swords. And that is just, um, that, that is worthy of praise and attention. Uh, but in terms of what The Darkest Tales is, this definitely looks like a game that is heavily inspired, inspired by Hollow Knight in terms of it's kind of like an action platformer game, a Metroidvania-style approach. Uh, and the general concept is, at least reading the Steam page, is that the, the, the it's kind of like a Brothers Grimm scenario. The, uh, the, the fairy tales have all gone dark, and the hero is a teddy bear. Uh, so, with that said, we'll start back to its initial reveal back in September of 2020 and see where it journeys from then to today. So, The Darkest Tales. Once upon a time. Hi. In a world of dark tales. Oh, Lord, be brave. Venture through. Little Red Riding Hood, what happened to you? I'm pretty sure that bow was firing needles, and I love that. Hmm. Lovely. Looks like a great time. Reminds me of that comic of the child who has a bear that protects them from nightmares. I mean, it might be related. Not that that's a terribly unique concept, right? I mean, when a nightmare creeps into reality, the only ones that can help are those whose magical powers we've believed in since childhood. A brave teddy bear heads to the far side of happily ever after to rescue his owner, Alicia. Alicia. Elise? Mm. That's one of those names that could be pronounced multiple ways with the way that that's spelled. All right. So now we're going to go into the uh, trailer for the playable demo. This was from July of last year. So we're jumping forward almost a year from September 2020 to July 2021. Of my bare life. Wait, I what? Halfway through the story of my bare life, I woke to find myself in an enchanted forest. It reeks of death here. What the? Who is she? What is she doing? <laughs> I mean, it looks like just such a lovable, happy, fun time, right? That bear is really tiny. Yep, sure is. You're a teddy bear. Once upon a time, there was an old teddy bear who wandered the world of childhood dreams. <laughs> Those are great dreams for there children. He met outlandish magical creatures and many other fairy tale heroes. Does that bear have human thumbs? Um, I don't know. The brave knight made out of plush. S sort of. He's got mitten, mitten hands. He's got mitten hands. Thus began his adventure-filled journey. Gotta have a grappling hook. Which shot was it? 
was it oh was it this early shot this one i'm guessing where he's kind of stepping through i mean like it's definitely like an attached thumb but i wouldn't ca call it necessarily human thumbs but I, I saw i see what you're going for and like even this shot you can see he has a thumb that is wrapped around the um the the scissor holes all right now we're gonna move all the way forward into september of this year 2022. This is a really good trailer. <laughs> I love and hate it. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a, that was actually a really good trailer. I just love the general vibe and tone of it a lot. Like it was, they did a really good job with the presentation of that. So th that's the Darkest Tales. It comes out October thirteenth. Um, it, like I said, it definitely feels heavily inspired by games like Hollow Knight. Uh, and if that looks, if that's a type and style of game that you're interested in, I'm betting it's a smaller experience than Hollow Knight. It's got a story attached to it in terms of what you're progressing through in time, in terms of trying to get through these levels to find your owner and save them from the darkest tales. You are this adorable teddy bear, and you. We saw a few different mechanics, like we saw the the dual blades. We saw them have a bow. We saw them have kind of like a katana looking thing. Kind of, kind of made me think of like Yuffie's boomerang from Final Fantasy VII, um, and then a grappling hook. So. There's at least a few different uh, approaches for gameplay and mechanics in there. It looks really cute. There's a decent level of polish in there. It's definitely got a tone that it's going to deliver to you. Seeing the, 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 the most of the fairy tales that you have heard across your life, they're, they either have dark origins like they are they are the pretty friendly version of an actually more genuine darker story or there are dark versions of them that have come to be in creation most of them the actual original story is dark as shit and was meant to ch scare children into doing whatever it is that they were supposed to do right it's supposed to have a a very dark side to give children a lesson of why you should or should not do certain things so that's the Darkest Tales. Apparently, there has been a demo that's been available for it, so there's a chance that you may have already played it. Uh, obviously not in its entirety because the full story and full game release is going to be coming out uh, very, very shortly. So that's the Darkest Tales. I'd love to hear from you and what your thoughts are. Put your thoughts down in the comments below. If you did try it, how did you find it? Did it did it feel good to play? Did it feel a little light? Was it needing something more? Uh, I would Just let me know. Put your thoughts down in the comments below. If you want to keep up the conversation elsewhere, two great places to do so are Discord and Twitter. And speaking of Discord, we actually have a channel dedicated to these reactions where you can place links of your own that we can check out together live on stream because we do stream four days a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, and I would love to see you there. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. If you want to catch future videos, please subscribe to the channel. And if you do go watch some of the other videos on the channel, or if I see you in the live stream, thank you and enjoy.